How is it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and today I'm going to show you how to check your iPhone in your iPad battery cycle count. <laughs> And this is not only extremely interesting, but it's also very, very useful because with this process, you know how good your battery still is, and especially check your battery health for real, how the health is for real. And uh, I love this process because we don't need to download anything. We don't need to pay for anything. We're just going to need to play with our settings a bit and find one of the settings that is extremely buried under our setting session. But we found a way to actually check your, ba your battery cycle count just by looking at that. And I love this because on the iPad, we don't even have the battery section like we have on the iPhone. So we really have no idea of how our batteries are. Uh, but with this process, we'll have the exact number. It's perfect. I love it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. But before we do that, please make sure to hit the like button down below already. It's going to help me out so much. And also the subscribe button and the little bell icon to help this channel grow more and more. So now let's begin. So as you guys can see, I have my iPhone and my iPad because as I mentioned, it works for both of them. And I'm going to show you in the iPhone first. And then later, I'm also going to show on the iPad just to prove it to you, even though it's the exact same process. Okay, so uh, we're going to need to go and head to settings. And you probably know that, of course, you can go to battery and then uh, we can check our battery health and see the maximum capacity, which is 92% in my case right here. But um, that's not very important because it's not 100% accurate it is not accurate at all actually even Apple admits it and of course you can't see the battery cycles and that's what we want to see right now the cycles because those are the ones that actually are interesting to us because we know that the iPhone can sustain up to 500 cycles uh, without really wearing out the battery uh, without the battery going really bad to 80% of that maximum capacity that we just saw and with the iPad it is a thousand cycles so uh, as soon as you go over that limit of cycles, so 500 on the iPhone and 1000 on the iPad, then you know that you need to change the battery. You need to actually go ahead and buy a new battery because the battery is just degraded. Okay, so that's very, very important. Now, if you want to see the actual battery cycle count, it's very easy. All you have to do is actually go to privacy. It's actually kind of buried. It's very fast and easy. It's just buried in iOS. I don't know why. Uh, and then we're going to scroll down and go to analytics and improvements right here at the bottom. And then we're going to go to analytics data. That second option right there. Click here and you're going to see a ton of stuff, which seems really crazy and weird, but it's actually not that bad. So grab on that handle. Okay, right here in iOS 13, we have that handle now. So grab on that handle and scroll all the way down to the letter L because we're going to need to see log aggregated. So uh, take a look at this. So log aggregated, we have a few options. So as you guys can see, we have quite a lot of logs. So log aggregated, we need to get that last one. Okay, so we have this one right here, log aggregated, which is going to be right above log power. So the last log aggregated that you have, tap on this one and then it's going to be a string of commands, a string of crazy text. So don't be afraid of that. Don't worry. What we need to do here is actually select all of that text. So we have to kind of manually do it because we don't have the select all button. So then select up. Okay. So make sure it's up there. All selected. We actually don't need all of that. But anyways, and then scroll all the way down and wait for it to scroll down very, very fast. As you guys can see, very, very, very fast. And then at the bottom, we go to the end. Okay. Uh, and then we can hit copy. And then we just copied all of that text because our battery cycle count is right here buried under that crazy code. Okay. And then after that, we're going to need to go to notes or any other application because we're actually going to need to find a specific string under here. So you can pick any application that you, that you want that can find text. I'm going to use notes for this. So go ahead and open notes and then you can create a new note. If you want a blank note, it's going to be much easier and then tap on it and then paste. So we're going to paste all of that crazy, huge text. And that's the tricky part because we want to find the text, right? So then tap on the share button right there at the top right hand corner and then scroll down to find in note. That's it. Find in note. 
and then we're gonna open that search bar right here which you can search for any kind of text that's here inside here so and the text we're gonna we're looking for is called battery it's gonna be all one word okay so battery cycle count battery cycle count it found it so you can just scroll down and then we can see that I have 348 cycles in this iPhone so take a look at that 348 so as you can see this iPhone battery is getting very very close to its 500 cycles in which the battery health will be getting very very bad and I'm gonna reach closer to 80% and as I mentioned uh, that that information right here that Apple gives us of uh, the, our battery health is not so accurate because have a look at this as i mentioned before if you look at battery health you can see that it is at 92 percent but my iphone is actually at 348 meaning that if you look at this you may think this battery is actually very good but it's not and that's true because this iphone's battery is very very bad i'm having to charge it twice a day so i i really really trust this number much more than the other one and this number really represents my cycles and my battery status and health as a general much much more than uh that percentage that apple gives us under battery health right here so as i mentioned 500 cycles uh, is the magic number you're trying to get away from if you want to get your iphone battery to be very very good and as i mentioned it works the exact same way on the ipad and i'm gonna go uh, as fast as i can and of course i'm also gonna try and speed it up so you guys don't have to go through this very very slowly so again we can go to settings and then we're gonna scroll down to that very same privacy, analytics and improvements, analytics data, grab on that handle, look for log aggregated, get that last one, copy the text. Then we're gonna add to notes, paste it, Wait a second, uh, share, find, and then battery cycle count. Then, as we have it, 26. This iPad is actually very, very brand new. And as you can see, it, it has only 26 cycles. But again, this is very, very important, especially for the iPad. Since on the iPad, we don't have that battery section at all. So we just, if we go here to settings, we don't, and, and I mean, we have the battery settings, but we don't have the battery health part. So we don't know how many, uh, uh, what's the percentage. We don't, we don't know the maximum capacity or anything like that. So we can't see one of the most important features regarding our battery, but with this we can. And as I said, 26 on this iPad, which is great because uh, this should be able to hold up to a thousand cycles before getting very, very low on battery. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you could, I could help you out with this uh, I found it to be extremely useful when I learned about this and I knew I had to share with you guys because this is very very important so that's pretty much it please make sure to hit the like button down below and the subscribe button and obviously the little bell icon to help me out and help grow this channel much much more so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a couple days guys bye bye